Yogmaya warns Kansa. When Kansa heard that the eighth child had been born to Vasudeva and Devaki, he ran to the jail. Where is the eighth child? Kansa roared. Devaki pleaded, "She is a baby girl. How can she harm a mighty king like you? Please don't kill her." But Kansa picked Yogmaya up. "Die now!" thundered evil Kansa as he threw Yogmaya to the ground. The baby girl rose in the air. She was goddess Yognidra, who had been sent by Lord Vishnu to her to teach Kansa a lesson. Oh foolish Kansa, the one who will destroy you has been born already. You cannot win. Mark my words, you are going to die. Evil Kansa gaped at her. She laughed and vanished into the sky. Kansa vainly boasted to his evil friends, "I fear no one except my guru, Jarasandha." I will kill any strong male child to safeguard myself the demon king began to hatch evil plots to kill lord krishna vasudeva meets nanda when goddess yoga maya told kansa his days were numbered the demon king realized that it was futile to jail devki and vasudeva the god who will destroy me is already born i should release devki and vasudeva kansa thought The couple was allowed to leave the jail. Vasudeva anxiously awaited news about his two sons. One day he received a visit from Nanda. Vasudeva was happy to see Nanda in Mathura. "Oh Nanda, I am blessed to meet you," Vasudeva said. Vasudeva then told Nanda to guard both the boys carefully. "Please have a namkarana naming ceremony for both of them." "Do not choose Vrindavan, stay in Gokul only," said Vasudeva. What is wrong with Vrindavan? asked Nanda curiously. When Vasudeva told him that evil Kansa might harm the boys, Nanda agreed to remain in Gokul. Vasudeva also told Nanda about why Kansa wanted to destroy Lord Krishna. Nanda realized how important it was to protect both the boys. Nanda leaves for Gokul. After taking leave of Vasudeva in Mathura, Nanda climbed into a palanquin. with his child and wife he told his wife yashoda about what vasudeva had said i am fearful our son and his brother if vasudeva was warned us about vrindavan we should heed it we should remain in gokul said yashoda after she had heard nanda when they reached gokul they were happy cows stood with their calves and cow herds played with one another The sweet smell of freshly churned butter and pure curd was everywhere. Beautiful gopis, female cowherds, shone in brightly colored saris, and flowers bloomed by the wayside. Nanda and Yashoda felt joy to see their children chuckle with laughter upon reaching Gokul. Lord Krishna's radiance was bright; his eyes shone like the stars, and his sweet smile enchanted everyone. Lord Krishna's mighty powers would soon reveal to the people of Gokul as well as to Nanda and Yashoda. Garuda Muni names the children. Nanda and Yashoda arranged for the naming ceremony of both the children. A learned sage, Garuda Muni, arrived for the boys' naming ceremony. Delighted at such joyful tidings, Yashoda proudly exclaimed, "Our son will be named by the reversed sage. This is an honor to us." When the sage saw both the boys he declared the two boys before you are sent from heaven to destroy evil on earth many demons will attack them but the two boys will prove victorious every time both nanda and yashoda were overjoyed to hear this garga muni also said both these boys will rid this land of evil forces a slight twinge of fear rose in yashoda's heart as she thought of the demons who would attack the two children the thought that garga muni had predicted the death of all the demons allayed her fears garga muni named the elder boy sankarshana balrama and the younger boy krishna baby overturns bullock cart yashoda watched over lord krishna with care one day she left lord krishna near a chakra bullock cart while she went to bathe in river yamuna Lord Krishna was blissfully asleep for some time. Suddenly, he woke up and moved his arms and legs fretfully. 
His legs got caught in the wheel of the cart. The gopis watching him became afraid. They feared that the cart would hurt the infant. To their amazement, the cart was overturned. Yashoda heard the noise and ran towards Lord Krishna. She was relieved to find him safe. When she saw the overturned cart, she questioned the gopis. They narrated the whole episode to Yashoda. Yashoda told Nanda about the miracle. Both were astounded about what had happened. Their son was not an ordinary mortal and they knew he was powerful. But this showed them how strong he was and that even evil demons would quail before his might. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.